Let's take a look at this word problem. For every 1 million U.S. residents, the number of movie theaters exceeds the number of drive-in theaters by 16, and the number of video rental stores exceeds the number of drive-in theaters by 64. Combined, there are 83 drive-in theaters, movie theaters, and video rental stores per 1 million U.S. residents. How many of each of these establishments are there per 1 million residents? So the first step is we, fi we need to figure out where to start, and we want to represent x as one of the quantities. So in this case, in step one, we have to figure out what to let x equal. And it's nice to let x equal something that we know very little about. So we do know something about the movie theaters, because that exceeds the number of drive-in theaters by 16. And we also know something about the number of video rental stores, because that exceeds the number of drive-in theaters by 64. So it makes sense, in this case, to let x equal the number of drive-in theaters, because we know so little about that. Next, we want to go on to step two. In step two, we want to represent the other unknown quantities in terms of x. Step two is going to be a little bit easier if you let step one, you let x equal what you know the least amount about. So in step two, we can automatically say the number of movie theaters exceeds the number of drive-in theaters by 16. So we know we have more movie theaters. So we can say if we take x, the number of drive-in theaters, and add 16 to it, that should equal the number of movie theaters. We also have one more quantity. Remember, we were given information about the video rental stores. The number of video rental stores exceeds the number of drive-in theaters by 64. So if we start with x, the drive-in theaters, and add 64 to it, we should equal the number of video rental stores. I'll just abbreviate it as video rentals. So now, in step three, we want to write an equation just in x that models all of these conditions. So remember, back in our original problem, we were told combined there are 83 drive-in theaters, movie theaters, and video rentals. That means if we add all three of these quantities, x plus x plus 16 plus x plus 64, we should equal 83. And I'm just going to write a little note here down below. x, and I'll abbreviate right here, really represents the number of drive-in theaters. So I'll abbreviate there. x plus 16 really represents the number of movie theaters. And x plus 64 represents the number of video rental stores. Now, if we take all three of these quantities and add them together, we should equal 83. Now we just need to solve this equation. So I have it written down right here. We can first just remove the parentheses. x plus x plus 16 plus x plus 64 is equal to 83. If I combine all my x's, I have a total of 3x plus 16 plus 64 gives me 80, and that's equal to 83. If I subtract 80 from both sides, I get 3x equals 3. Dividing both sides by 3, x is equal to 1. So now I'm ready to state my answer. By the way, this part right here where I'll put an arrow at, this is really, I should call it step 4. I solve the equation that I set up. Now step 5, I'm actually going to write my answer. Well, remember, x was the number of drive-in theaters. So I can say the number of drive-in theaters is equal to 1. x plus 16 is the number 
of movie theaters. So the movie theaters is equal to x plus 16, which in our case is 1 plus 16, or 17. And finally, the number of video rentals we decided was x plus 64, or in our case, 1 plus 64, which is equal to 65. So we can see that there was one drive-in theater, 17 movie theaters, and 65 video rental stores per 1 million U.S. residents.